Anshika, now start with your introduction. Okay, although Pasna has given a brief introduction about me, I would like to introduce myself again. I'm an upcoming intern at BNY Menon. Previously, I have interned at Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO. Currently, I am a third year BTEC EC student. I would like to thank Pasna and IGDT Resource for inviting me to guide the juniors. I am looking forward for your queries, everyone. E thank you, Anshika. Uh, now, let's start with your coding journey which resources you used, which platforms you used for coding, uh, all the resources, just explain to the juniors. So for like, uh, if you are looking for internship opportunity for that, the most important thing that you should have to know is DSA. For DSA, there are like some resources that are paid like Coding Ninja and other resources as well. But there are also some free resources available like on YouTube. I have basically followed like Love Bubber playlist. That is one of the nice playlists that I have seen. And there are also his paid courses are also available on Code Help, etc. Other than that, for some specific topics, you can follow the Udemy courses also. So yeah, these are the basic resources that one should follow. OK, Anshika. Uh, now I would like to ask tips for resume making like what we keep in mind while making the resume so yeah one of the most important thing is resume of course because there is one round in most of the company that is the resume shortlisting round so it's important for you to stand out your resume among um, all of the participants who are participating for the internship or either the placement for that one of the most important thing is to mention your projects very clearly in that resume you have to mention the projects you have to mention your experience if you have any you have to mention it of course other than that if you have some academic achievements or extracurricular achievement you should mention that as well the skills should be mentioned properly and one of the most important thing that i must say to everyone that i have learned that you should never be dishonest with your resume if you are thinking that you can write too many skills in that then in that interview you know the recruiter is going to ask you questions, of course. So be honest while writing your skills in the resume. Okay, Anshika. My next question is how you use the approach to solve the questions. Like sometimes we get stuck at a question. So how? what motivated you? So yeah, if there are maybe some questions that of course everyone can stuck upon. So the most basic approach is to read the question again and again. Try to understand what the question is asking actually. Then if you have understood the question, first the basic approach is to understand the question properly. If you're not getting it in one time, then try to read it again. Don't leave the question like that and then understand it properly. Try to make a pseudo code based upon that. Then later you can start with the coding skill. And now at this stage, since you are in second year, most of the students, I guess, here are from second year only. So if you have any question and you are getting stuck upon it, you can ask your classmates and also you can ask your seniors, of course. We would love to help you guys if there is some question and you are getting stuck upon it. Okay, Anshika, my next question is, what were your resources for interview prep, like uh, mock interviews, where you gave? Uh, yeah, so... Of course, for interview opportunity, you should give mock interviews. In my case, I haven't give, joined any mock interview process. Although in our college, before the internship journey or before the placement period, our seniors just conduct the mock interview so you can give them. They will ask you questions and you will get to know about how the interview is going to be conducted. I have given my mock interviews to my friends. We just try to do mock interview with each other in a serious manner. So you can do that as well. Other than that, the seniors also take the mock interview before your internship opportunity. So you can go with that as well. Also, guys, I will link attach karungi, you, video ke niche, description. Mein, there you will find the most important questions of interview bit. Like unka ek PDF, hai, HR, vagera, HR round, etc. So you can see that. Now, Anshika, next question is, what are the do's and don'ts you would advise yeah, it is very important to understand the do's and don'ts while giving any interview the first 
I'm telling the first the do thing that you have to do while giving an interview. Your body language should be very proper. You have to maintain an eye contact and you have to research about the company for which you are giving the interview. It's not like something that if they are going to ask you anything about company and you are looking like blank, I don't know about this, so you can't do that. And the role you are applying for, you should know that about it very well. Like if you are applying for software developer or if you are applying for front end developer, then you should know about front end skills because the recruiter is going to ask questions to you. And only not technical skills are important. Communication skills and soft skills are also very important because there will be an HR round, behavior round, where your body language, your ways of speaking will be questioned. And the don'ts, that one of the most don't thing that you shouldn't do is being honest. If you the recruiter ask you a question and you don't know the answer, so don't try to make like giving the wrong answer or like making like faces, yes, maybe, maybe. You should say clearly, yeah, I don't know this, but we can work upon it. And uh, while you don't think that you shouldn't do that, if you are not looking forward to your body language, then that is also a wrong thing. And if you are not making eye contact with your recruiter, like you are giving an answer, but you are looking to the terrace or somewhere else, then that is also a wrong thing you shouldn't do while giving an interview. And one of the most important thing is research about the company and your role for which you are applying. My next question is, क्या सोसाइटीज ने हेल्प करी लाइक रिज्यूमे में होता है ना रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज का सेक्शन क्या सोसाइटीज दैट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग सोसाइटीज प्ले अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल वेन यू आर गिविंग एन इंटरव्यू डोंट थिंक दैट इफ यू आर नॉट पार्ट ऑफ एनी सोसाइटी देन यू कैन गिव अपन इट बिकॉज एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज आर एज वेल इम्पॉर्टेंट वेल गिविंग एन इंटरव्यू रिक्यूटर मे आस्क यू दैट यू हैव बिन द पार्ट ऑफ दिस सोसाइटी लाइक इफ यू आर द पार्ट ऑफ आइजिटेट यू रिसोर्स and he is going to ask you that what role you have played because it will show your team leader skill if you have played something role that is related to leadership skill so it will be showed through your society and society will help you in developing your own skills as well so it is a long journey that the society plays this was from my side uh, guys you can ask her questions yeah you can open your mic Mahe you can chan. open your mic and i would love to make an eye contact with you guys so if it will be great if you open your video also mai ka mic open kar sakte ho shodi uh hello di um i wanted to ask ki uh, agar uh, project uh, kisi ek hi domain mein hai for example abhi mere mostly projects machine learning mein to uh, what type, what kind of questions can we expect jo project se wo pooch sakte hain uh if your project is basically based upon machine learning only uh, yeah yeah purely machine Mach- okay so in machine learning uh, reinforcement deep learning if you, your project is based upon nlp so they are going to ask you about nlp and if your project is based upon like reinforcement learning or deep learning so they are going to ask you about neural networks but what matters is for which role you are applying since if you are applying from front end developer so don't expect only that they are going to ask questions from machine learning because your project is from machine learning they will ask you related to front end development also it depends upon the role for which you are applying but yeah the project here that you have mentioned in your resume is the most important because they will ask you for sure they will ask uh the because like uh, jo 5 months mein on campus sd intern ke liye aati hain companies usme i've heard ki uh, ek bar kisi ko uh, code karne ke liye bol diya tha to uh, machine learning mein thode algorithms uh, tough hote hain relatively to ha ha yeah i you just make me remember that point in interview also don't expect that you have cleared the coding round so they will not ask you to do the coding of course they will make you do coding they will ask you dsa questions also and they will ask the you to code the questions related to your skills like you said that you have made your projects in machine learning so they will made you co- code for machine learning they will give you a certain situation and they will ask you to code for it oh, okay the correct yeah you made me remember that point i just give that they will ask you to do coding in interview as well because uh, technical interviews is that for only and i think upasna will agree with me in that point also yes next question is what is the level of online assessments the for maximum companies Pro. for different companies it varies but yeah <laughs> i will agree with that so yeah it will be like 
hard level also you can't expect easy level that is the out of the bound thing but yeah medium to hard for most of the companies maximum hard minimum hard matlab maximum aapke hard jayengi rare companies hongi jo aapke medium pe puchhengi ha because some companies may given up sections like easy medium and hard so they have certain questions like if they are giving six questions so two will be from easy two will be from medium and two will be from hard and some of the companies even give questions like from sql or the aptitude based yeah that is the thing they will give you questions from sql dbms questions some of the companies give but most of the companies give dsc questions only next is in which language you coded uh i know java cpp also but the main language in which i code is cpp next is uh the are the companies somewhat biased towards development in what sense can you please make it more clear what do you want to ask related to it palak bakshi if you can turn on your mic please try to make it more clear what do you want to ask i think there are some people raising their hands hemanthi she is also raising yes uh, yeah. uh, hello the first of all congratulations thank and, you and the i just um, the question just that upasna di just read out i just wanted to uh, uh, like ask you on that ki uh, is it necessary to have a development like a full fr- uh, full stack project uh, in your resume like do they prefer that or is it like what is the preference level for it full stack project if you are asking me that if the full stack project should be there in your resume yeah of course it will make you stand out but it's not only the necessary thing if somebody is not doing web development and somebody is interested in ml so that you can mention your ml projects in it but if you are asking that any development project is not present in your resume then that is not a good thing for sure the field in which you are doing development either it is the machine learning if it is versus a in machine learning artificial intelligence ethical hacking cyber security web development you should have one or two projects from that particular skill if you are mentioning your skill in the resume so you should have some projects related to those fields yes thank you so much but yeah if you are saying that if you are applying from the full stack developer then you should have at least one or full stack project related to that next question is uh does participating in hackathons are compulsory it is not a compulsory thing but it is actually good it will make you develop your skills it will brought wide spread your ideas hackathons give you a chance to make your ideas do in practical things so it will help you but it's not a compulsory thing if you are winning an hackathon then it will make your resume stand out even hame projects mil jate hain hackathon se resume mein dalne ke liye yeah next is by hard questions you mean cp level questions also come cp is not a compulsory thing i would say some people do cping and some not by hard question i mean you can expect the dsa hard level questions you have seen the lead code you may have done the questions from lead code so you can expect like lead code hard level questions but it's good if you do do want to do cp it will make you do solve the question in a better manner and quickly as well next is is there any tips or trick to crack oe round as i found hard to crack oe how you used to crack oe do dsa do dsa this is the only answer any senior can give you for cracking any way you have to do dsa for sure कोई शॉर्टकट नहीं है हां नेक्स्ट इज दी प्लीज शेयर मोर अबाउट हाउ यू गोट योर डीआरडीओ इंटर्नशिप या फॉर डीआरडीओ देन देयर विल बी देयर ओपनिंग्स इट कैन यू एक्सपेक्ट लाइक फ्रॉम मे और अप्रैल इन अप्रैल इन अप्रैल दे जस्ट गिव आउट देयर ओपनिंग्स ऑन देयर वेबसाइट और पोर्टल सो यू कैन जस्ट फिल द एप्लीकेशन और यू कैन सेंड योर रेज्यूमे अलोंग विद द लेटर ऑफ रिकमेंडेशन दे आस्क 
to that particular mail that have been mentioned on their website. So if they like your profile, they will contact you through mail only. But these, so this is via the official website and not cold emailing. What? Uh, so this was from the official website and not via cold emailing, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, yeah, it is from their official website only. Some people say that they do emails to them, but uh, most of them have told me I have just applied through official website only. But some of my friends have told me that they have done the email to them, but they didn't get any response in that case because there may be many emails to them, so they can't see every email. There is a procedure that they have mentioned this year. Some of my friends have told me that they are saying to do the email along with the LORs and your resume. But there are certain mail IDs that have been mentioned. So you can only mail to those IDs only. You can't just mail to everyone present on that. OK, Dee, thank you. And if they like your profile, so they will contact you. OK, Dee. Next is how many questions you did on lead code? It is not actually just they decided like I'm going to do these questions. I don't have the number actually right now. Any other question? Just wait for one or two minutes. Hmm. Guys, if anyone have doubt, please write on the chat section. Yeah, even if your some of your query that may have been left in this session because due to the shortage of time. So I will share my LinkedIn ID or my Insta ID with Upasna. She can share in the group and you can just DM me. I would love to connect with you. Vasna, I just shared my Insta ID and LinkedIn ID with you. You can share it in the group. Yeah. CGP for safer side is eight. Yeah, for being the safer side is eight. Of course, there are certain companies that allow for CGP six or above, but most of the companies go for seven, seven point five above, and eight as well for sure. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you